Gentle tidings there, folks. Ronnie Romance here coming to you from somewhere that is not Connecticut. What am I doing out here? Shouldn't I be back there selling bags or whatever the heck it is that I do? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. I'm going to fill you in on what's been going on, why we haven't had anything for sale in like three months. Uh, and if you stick around after that, uh, you buckle up, like, and subscribe. I'm going to take you on a little road trip with me out west to wherever I am now. So let's go back in time, folks. It has been an emotionally and physically draining last few weeks. Um, shutting down uh, the factory. Nutmeg Needleworks in Waterbury, Connecticut, where we'd been producing our fabs line for the last four years or so. Um, you know, it's. Sorry for the sad music really squeezing the lemons here. Uh, but you know, um, a lot of uh, a lot of this is still pretty fresh and raw, so you know, kind of processing it still. So uh, you know, please like and subscribe while I'm being vulnerable on the internet. <laughs> we had some uh, staff leave right around Christmas time. Um, right before the new year, back to Puerto Rico. Uh, they were very important staff, and we just felt like we could not continue on without them. And so we had to make the very difficult decision to uh, close down Nutmeg Needleworks after two years in business. So not a, not a very long time, but enough time to certainly learn a few things. <laughs> uh, what to do, what not to do, more what not to do. But now, you know, moving forward, uh, yeah, it feels like we got like a master's degree in manufacturing. We were uh, successful in that we made back our, you know, in two years we made back our initial investment and we were able to pay ourselves, uh, Aria and I, and uh, pay seven to eight staff members a living wage in Connecticut, and then some. Gave a lot of people promotions. There were people who had worked in that factory for 20 years and uh, we inherited a lot of good and a lot of bad taking everything over from some gentlemen who were retiring um, after two generations in this business of bag making in Connecticut. They had owned this factory for nearly 40 years. And we thought we could keep it going, you know? So we gave it our best shot. Going into the holidays, we had a really good, we had a really good run of it with, uh, with Ron's bikes, with our bags and whatnot, introduced a few new items, and I was pretty hopeful for 2024. And so was Aria. I felt like we were just starting to get the hang of this. And, um, well, granted, you know, we certainly missed aspects of our old lives. Yeah! <laughs> um, it just really felt like we were, uh, sometimes, I should say, it felt like we were doing the right thing. At its best, we were having fun doing it, you know. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, we made bags for a number of other companies, not just bicycle companies, but, you know, um, handbags, things like that. And I felt like we needed to lean into that so I didn't have to rely on selling bags so much. Um, and it seemed like it was going to go, it seemed like a good idea. But as it went with our management style, Aria and I, um, you know, we just are not able to push like you really need to when you're a, a factory boss, you know? And so we just were not able to make any money off of making things for other people. And I think ultimately our staff picked up on that and it scared them at times, and I can't blame them. All of the money we were taking in was from the Ron Spikes line. Uh, and yet we still tried to make things for other people. So yeah, certainly should have uh, focused on our stuff a little bit more. We make stuff for us, it sells. I mean, we left the shop in Waterbury, there was, we had no bags left, no inventory at all other than caps and bandanas. So um, thank you for buying our stuff. <laughs> we really appreciate it. It makes all this an easier pill to swallow financially. Yeah, we made a tough decision. We had to shut down. Um, we just didn't have the, the skilled labor that we needed to continue on. And our overhead was very expensive. Definitely, you know, lost hours of sleep or you could say I gained hours of life because I was wide awake in those times <laughs> yeah it was weird it was a 
interesting time. I'm speaking in retrospect. This time is over. It's months later. It's March 2nd now, and we've been moving out of this place for the last two months. Taken a lot of our machinery. We Excuse me, that was loud. There's a big echo in 12,000 square feet. We've, we've sold a good amount of our machinery, but you, you don't make much uh, after you realize how much it costs to ship this stuff. Our biggest item, the clicker press, which hydraulically punches out all the pieces of fabric, that's five tons. Unfortunately, we had to throw a lot out. I had some help with uh, good pals Jay and Riley uh, this last week, just chucking stuff out of three-story factory, brick factory window <laughs> into a dumpster. Definitely sore in places I didn't, never been sore before. <laughs> Everything seems to be put away now. Sorry for the long story. Wished I had documented more of it, but I was not in the headspace to be, uh, to be creative um, at all these last few months. It's, been, it's just been intense. I don't know. A lot of anxiety around it all. And so, anyway. We don't have to be here anymore. We've got a few new factories that will be making our bag line. We hope to have bags again to sell by summer. And until then, I'll be focused on selling these Alumax frames. So thanks for buying if you have already. So uh, until then, we're going to hit the road. I'm going solo. Aria is going to fly and meet me next month because there are still a few last minute things that need to get done here. We've got our friends Bree and Riley uh, who shipped for us originally doing the shipping while we're gone. So we'll have a few items up for sale. I've been getting the van ready. I've been trying to you know slightly improve our pretty rudimentary setup in the van that we've been uh, that we've had for the last four five years now. Well anyway you want to check out the van. I hope it's staying dry. I cut a hole in the roof yesterday. I've never done that before. Kind of nervous. I promise this isn't going to become a van content channel. I, I say that now. Our setup isn't near nice enough. Oops, come on down again. This is, this is our van setup. Don't be fooled by this. I know this looks cool, um, but beyond this is it's just two by fours and mold. <laughs> One thing I did do, I did install a uh, vent fan, Max Air thing. I'm Russian. I was supposed to, like I said, I was supposed to leave yesterday, but I really wanted this thing in because, I mean, it's 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 pretty gnarly in here. This van is pretty gnarly, and I don't want to. I don't want to breathe. I don't want to sleep in here and breathe the air, stale air, like we've done for like the last four years in here. That's why it's so gnarly. So, yep, home sweet home um, for the next three months. So I'm going to take you along with me. We'll get more of this tomorrow. Okay, so it's tomorrow. It's today, and we're leaving today. Been, uh, I haven't been sleeping very well the last few months, but last night, I think I got my seven hours in. I don't use my uh, throwing, throwing two by fours and sheets of three quarter inch plywood out the window. Uh, I don't use those muscles, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yeah, gonna have some coffee, eat some oats, and start packing. Last morning in Headline for a little bit. Be making my next cup of coffee somewhere in Ohio, probably. That's if I'm able to drive eight hours today. 50 50 chance. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's already 11 o'clock. <laughs> so much for an early start. Uh, but I'm packing my bikes. I'm going to bring. My Alumalith. H-E-B. My Alumax. Gravdad. And this new uh, prototype 
Ron's, I just finished, Ron's slash beach club. Uh oh, my Ron's slash beach club uh, rim brake road bike. Crotch rock. Medium reach. This thing is light. Just built it up, still got to wrap the bars and stuff, but pretty, pretty cool. Continue packing. All done packing, and it is such a nice day. I had to pull out this new bike, wrap the bars, and gonna do a little short ride before I let me start my Strava. A short ride before I head out of here and have dinner with my or early dinner with my parents. And I'm not making it to Ohio today, but I'll get somewhere a few hours in. Now, unfortunately, I misplaced the audio file and the camera did not pick it up, but we can only assume I was saying something very profound. I had just gotten back from a bike ride on that new road bike and it was a rocket ship. It was a beautiful day and now I'm getting into my chair of the big rig. I'm going to turn this puppy on or something and, you know, I'm going to dinner at my parents' house. So I went from uh, my goal of going eight hours of driving to get to somewhere in Ohio uh, to um, 45 minutes away to my parents' house. So here I am, pulling out of the driveway in Old Hadlime, headed to Clinton, Connecticut. Okay, so four and a half hours in, or six hours of travel time, I'm at my first spot here on Mile Run Road in the middle of nowhere, but off of right off the highway, Pennsylvania. You gotta drive straight across Pennsylvania, which is a surprisingly large state. Um, so I've ridden in this spot a few times before, but coming up this time, to my surprise, there's other cyclists here too. All these cars have bike racks. And it is Monday, midday. So we got some grav dads, retirees. <laughs> this is such a gorgeous ride. I mean, not long after you leave that highway corridor, it's just all this. So good. I am feeling better by the instant. I mean, come on, this is amazing out here. And now it's everyone's favorite time of day, dinner time. What's on the menu tonight? It's beans and greens, okay. Yeah. Scoop a few spoonfuls here. Uh, generally adding a little nutritional yeast for good measure, maybe a lot of nutritional yeast. And uh, you know, this was a different day, but uh, a similar menu. I do certainly love beans. Do you love beans? Let's know your favorite bean in the comments. Somewhere in Missouri. It's a fine morning to sit with my thoughts, and you guessed it, go for a bike ride. Another incredible ride. Bike is like great. 
it's just absolutely stunning out here. The, uh, the new bike, even with these skinny tires, I mean, this, uh, this big old titanium seat post is very compliant. Okay. my stomp block shoes available soon from ronsbikes.com but you can get these socks right now hi we're following i-40 west which follows the old route 66 you see stuff like this every exit you get off of so if you like taking photos of old decrepit rundown things get your kicks you know what i'm saying not quite sure if that's the uh, that might be the wildfires that are on the texas panhandle it's flat, and I can see a long ways. I suppose I am officially out west. Had a, uh, slept in a Whole Foods parking lot in Tulsa last night. I um, discovered uh, what I thought uh, in previous days was just kind of like an animal running across the roof here and there. Well, I found out last night that, yep, this old, this old van has got mice. Doesn't surprise me, I suppose. And I'm wondering if that's maybe the, the uh, weird smell I've been trying to eradicate. The Connecticut country bumpkin mouse in the big desert. Okay, time for another dinner time here in New Mexico. Uh, tonight we are doing asparagus. Just fried those up in some olive oil. Now we're doing some tempeh. Uh, just gonna chop these things up, fry them in some olive oil and salt. Uh, just get them nice and crispy, you know. Uh, flip them after a few minutes. Coat them with oil again. And uh, yeah, get some chores done in the meantime. It is nice to be back out here again, I gotta say. And so we're gonna be dipping those tempeh strips in some uh, chipotle bitchin' sauce. Yep. Asparagus. Who needs utensils? Who's watching? Well, you're watching. Um, excuse my manners. And no, generally my urine doesn't smell any differently after eating asparagus. Um, I know it varies for everyone out there. Why don't you let us know your experience in the comments? Well, welcome to the next morning here. A little different weather pattern. Never know what you're going to get. Up here on the Continental Divide, somewhere in New Mexico. Pretty though. Well, so much for my, uh, so much for my hot shorts and baby tees. <laughs> We're in New Mexico, and I found, uh, yeah, I got a mouse in my trap this morning. Felt, felt kind of bad letting them out in. Uh, this kind of weather, but I left him with a few nuts. Maybe that mouse will start a new family. Just out here adjusting my shifting. We're all set and we're ready to go into that valley. nice road. Um, I love checking out these old adobes or whatever, the, I guess this old house here. This old house. A pretty nice spot. that they even had a bathtub and a tiled bathroom. Not a bad spot. Check it out on Zillow. 
some of the uh, smoother stuff I've been on in a while. So we're just about at the 10 mile mark here. We made it. So as much as I'd love, as much as I'd love to go out here, it's time to turn back. Oh, well, it's another dinner time. Brussels sprouts and onions and olive oil. I think there was some garlic in there also. Oops, I didn't see you there. Another fine night in the desert. I do sleep well out here. And I hope you sleep well tonight too, but not before you finish this video. We got a little more to go. It's the next morning and I am three hours from Tucson. I did it in five days. I put in a few 10 hour days and a few eight hour days and now just three hours to go. Uh, pretty fortunate I was able to get a good ride in every day of the drive. That makes a big difference for me. I could do a lot after a bike ride, let me tell you. Well, here we are coming towards the Tucson Valley, I think. Racing the train, like a freight train, if I were to write a song about this. Maybe I will someday. So please like and subscribe, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your grandma's friends, like and subscribe. You click a few buttons, you really make my day. Okay folks, bye. I hope you like and subscribe.